Right, today I want to talk about um, Chinese chemicals. So, 8222 LCM, um, any chemical that comes out of China, which they sell us to clean screens, to remove OCA, all that type of jazz. Now, I've done two separate videos before. I've done one on cleaning S8 screens, which used um, acetone and isopropyl. That was it. Um, I've done another video on cleaning the OCA to use three in one. So that's cleaning the OCA on top of the polarizer on iPhone LCD screens. So that's done. Um, I'll link both of those in the comments so that you can see those. My method for those has not changed. Um, today I've got, there's some screens I'm running for today. I've got 6S, 7, 8, and 7 Plus. Um, I'm gonna clean the polarizer glue from these. I'm gonna show you how I do that. And I'm not gonna use any Chinese chemicals at all. I'm going to use, here I've got isopropyl, but I won't actually be using it. I've got acetone, acetone in this bottle here. I've got white lint-free cloths at the back there. And I've got melamine sponge, magic sponge they call it. Um, that's readily available throughout the West. All right, so I don't put anything on this screen. This is an iPhone 6S screen. Um, Simon Nash on my Facebook group, he was kind enough to point out these uh, red blade holders. Um, when I swap the blade over, I'll show you the inside of it. So one swipe up there on the other side. One swipe up and you can see the glue that's left over afterwards. Now you don't want to fight with that. I'm happy with that. I will now put a bit of acetone. A bit of acetone on some white sponge in the middle. Wait for it to start drying before I go to the edges. If you go to the edges while it's still quite wet, then it goes into the backlight through the edges and it creates sort of either wet spots, which are really visible on all colors, or the diagonal white lines. Um, you can get those as well. So there you can see, I've got the worst of that glue off, but there's still quite a lot of rubbish on there. So I'm just gonna get a white cloth and clean it up. There we go. It's nice and clean. Well, I'm going to stack that just on the top there and move on to the next one. Go and make sure there's nothing on the back of the um, on the back of the screen because if there is, as you're pushing down with the blade here, as you push down, if there is anything on the back, it can crack the front panel. So this blade holder, they come apart into two pieces there this helps apply even pressure along the blade which helps remove the glue nicely The reason I'm showing you this is because the glue that the Chinese sell, it doesn't come with any, well, Western recognized that I've seen um, data sheets. And even the ones that claim to be Western recognized data sheets, from the ones I've seen, um, they have N-hexane, which is the bad, bad stuff, can cause nerve damage. Um, which is really not good for you. And it is this, this type of stuff, um, David sang in the Facebook group, he's got a link to a good video. I should bookmark it really so that I can include it, but there you go. Um, where Foxconn employees were using it in unventilated areas over prolonged periods of time and then they got nerve damage. So they couldn't use, well, bodily functions. They couldn't like move, they couldn't feel things. Now, what I really don't want is, for the sake of a few quid today, as a refurbisher making screens for your repairs or for other shops or whatever that you do, it really is not worth risking your health. It's really not worth risking your health just so that you can make screens. What you believe is like a minute quicker than doing it another way. 
Um, but I tell you now, if you practice doing it like this in the way I'm doing it, this is no slower than using the Chinese chemicals. Now, although I'm using acetone and I'm saying how unsafe the Chinese chemicals are, um, the room that I'm in, I have a carbon filter, a big, big, big carbon filter, which does the whole room. It's not a huge room. Uh, and then I've got, got an extraction fan, which extracts from the room. And I've got um, an intake van, which blows air in from outside. So I'm constantly replacing the air that's in the room. If I'm honest, I'd like them to be a bit stronger because working with any chemicals, I just like the air to be replaced and to be nice and clean all the time. I don't care whether it's isopropyl, acetone, LCM, 8222, none of these screens are worth my health. is done. You'll see the little J orange. This was a small run that Joshua did, Joshua Orange. He sadly lost the design to these, so these don't exist anymore. And if anyone has them for sale, I'd love to buy another set. Um, these are my 7G screens. I've already removed the, the blue rubber type glue from the top. Now the flex at the top of these ones, right at the top there is quite delicate. So I stopped the blade just short of that flex. I don't want that flex to make contact with it at all. There. I'm not gonna fight with that glue with a blade. I'm gonna let the magic sponge take care of it. So this magic sponge, trying to sell it as the magic sponge. I know that lots of house owners use it to clean as well. It has lots of different applications. It is really good at cleaning up OCA glue and glue from screens. It's really, really good. I love it. It is called Melamime Sponge. It is available in the West. I haven't looked at the pricing, but it's probably a lot cheaper than buying it in from China and getting it shipped in with shipping and duties, etc. Yeah, that's one seven done. Now, before I got these Joshua Orange moulds, I used to just use a silicone mat. Now, without this blade holder with the silicone mat, it's possible to apply pressure unevenly. And by doing that, you can get LCD damage. So I did damage LCDs doing it like that. It was not many, like, not many at all. It was so such a small amount, it was negligent. It really wasn't worth worrying about, but honestly, since using these Joshua, Joshua orange mats, I've not damaged one. Removing the polarizer or cleaning like this. Now removing the polarizer, I've shown you a wire method before, that's nice and safe. It needs a slightly stronger vac, but that's nice and safe. But using the cheap polarizer remover blade machine, um, they're all pretty similar, but using that, I have not broken one screen using these moulds. Needless to say, I've gone back to the hot blade method with the machine to remove those. So these blades have two sides, 
and they're double sided. Normally one blade lasts for two screens, um, but they're not that expensive. So if, it, if I get any sort of friction with the blade or it doesn't remove the glue quite nice enough, I just swap it over, it's easier. So seven and eight's done. Plus models, they take three strokes because they're slightly too wide. I like to do the two edges and then just do a middle stroke to take the middle bit off afterwards. You don't have to press too hard, you can just sort of let the sponge let the sponge do its job. Last one. So like I said at the beginning, don't use Chinese chemicals. I run iPhone, all LCDs, OLEDs. I do Samsungs, all edge, model, all edge models. And I have no reason at any point to use Chinese chemicals. And to be honest with you, even if there was a magic Chinese chemical, that did help, I don't think that I would use it even if it's sort of half the time that a screen would take to make. The margins on the OLED screens are so big that I'd rather take my time and look after my health than risk it with Chinese chemicals that no one has any, any idea what is in them. And the sad thing is the Western vendors that sell the chemicals because, I mean, in my opinion, they shouldn't sell them. If it's something that can damage your health, they shouldn't sell them. And if they do, it should the safety precautions involved with it should be very, very, very clearly outlined. Because the last thing that I want to see is anyone in this field to develop long-term health issues off the back of using chemicals which have not been clearly identified and safety precautions have not been, well, shared, shared with end users. There we go, right, that's the last one cleaned. I'm now going to glass these. But that is all of those LCD models cleaned without any Chinese chemicals in a well-ventilated area. <laughs>